Good morning, my sisters and brothers in Christ. Uh, I come before you this Sunday morning with joy and jubilance, and I pray that that is on your heart as well. This morning, I wanted to talk about trusting in God. You know, we've all heard the song that says, My heart, my mind, and my soul belongs to you. But I wonder and I question if we truly, truly mean that. Does my heart, mind, and soul belong to you when grief has stricken our family on every side? Does my heart, mind, and soul belong to you when my marriage of 20-something years is now facing divorce? Or what about when crime hits our family? And takes away a loved one undeserving of that. What happens when we lose our jobs? Do we lose our sight and our focus? Do we take our attention away from God? Do we concentrate on the fact that we are no longer employed? Do we lose sight of these things when when circumstances hit that seem dire, that seem hopeless? And I wanted to encourage someone today who's listening Uh, If it's just one, just listening, I encourage you today to truly immerse yourself in the power of God, to submerge yourself. You know, when we think of swimming or deep sea diving, we know that you are covered by the water. So I ask today if you could submerge yourself in the power of God. And truly knowing that he has you in the palm of your hand. And when pain strikes, he can truly give you comfort and rock you in his bosom. I I wanted to share that today because I know I've been there. And I know that by being there, that no man is an island unto himself. So that means that somebody is struggling today with trusting God fully. Your mind is telling you one thing and your heart is saying something else. I want you to think back to the last time that God has gotten you out. How he retrieved you from the snares of the devil. I want you to think back just on yesterday. How you missed that car that could have took you out. I want you to think back on when you had that job that you depended on for your livelihood. But it took so much of your peace away. I want you to think back to sometimes that things that leave us or things that happen are mere blessings in disguise. Be blessed. Be well.